on a small scale chart. Or you can also use the chart catalog, draw the rough track that is intended to be taken between the ports. Collect the numbers of the charts that fall on the track, giving importance to the largest scale chart possible on any part of the track. Now transfer the intended track on these navigational charts. When laying out the track, take care to avoid all possible dangers along the track with a wide margin. Importance is to be given in laying course, approaching the port or leaving the port as you are likely to encounter a large amount of traffic in these areas. Other than the traffic, there are also likely to be some special local regulations, naval exercises and port maintenance operations. For most of these operations, there will be prior warnings through NAVTEX or EGC messages on SAT-C. Now, let us lay an approach course to the port. Generally, the approach to any port will be to head to its fairway, buoy, from where the channel, marked with lights or otherwise, will lead into the port. Choose a track heading to the fairway buoy more or less in line with the channel leading into the port from the fairway buoy if possible. Use leading lines or leading lights to draw this track if available. Use parallel indexing, clearing bearings and wheel over points on the track to assist when actually executing the plan.